What's up y'all, it's your boy Travis. And guys, last time we checked in with you guys, we let you guys know that we're heading to Miami. I know crazy, like the hurricane just hit. Luckily the hurricane hit north of us and on the other side, but we did feel like like some a lot of wind, some rain, but we were okay. So I had to come out here for some work. So we just got here a few days ago completed work I picked the place but there's one thing okay let me let me tell you what this one thing is it's a very important thing this is exactly why you look you actually look at reviews which I did but you actually read the reviews which I did but I skimmed through and I missed a huge factor so we're in downtown Miami we're at pretty much the South Beach I mean it's not a great view but you know what I mean like we got we got a little view you know what I mean not bad we got some water right there that's where the Miami Heat uh, play basketball but y'all this place you're seeing it that's the side of the wall right there that's the other side of the wall this place is like super small guys and this is it guys it's not that I'm not happy with you about it I don't want to sound like a grouch but it's very Small. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys the story of what happened. Hold on, so small as in like, can you touch the side of the wall? So like, hold on, spread your arms. That, that's how, that's, it doesn't get any wider than that, guys. Okay. Actually so, it does, but. So, we're at the airport, and I don't know if you guys know this about Travis and I, but we love to book um, hotels when we actually get to the city or state we're in or whatever, where we're staying. We like to book the hotel once we actually arrive. I know that's a crazy idea. We're just like that. And I'm like listening to a podcast and I'm like, hey babe, you just, you know, pick the room, whatever, I trust you. Because normally I pick the hotel, like almost always, like 95% of the time, I pick the hotel. But I did tell you, I said, babe, look, and you're like, okay, you're watching this podcast. She, she, she basically said, I'm gonna trust you. And I kept telling her, babe, no, no, I really want you to pick the place. Yeah, so I was like, you got it. You know, you're a big boy, you've booked hotels before. So I was like, you got it, because he knows what I like, you know, in hotels, cleanliness, all these other things. So anyway, so I'm listening to my podcast, I'm just in the moment, and then he's like, hey, I'm like, you good? We book, we book our hotel. I showed you the reviews, they had great reviews, but we yeah. didn't look at them. I didn't see it, I was like, oh, you're good, you're good, you're good, because I trust you, you know? And so uh, we get our rental car and everything, we get in the car, we drive, he's like, you know, let's go ahead and go to the hotel and drop all of our stuff off. And I was like, okay, cool. We pull up to the hotel, I'm like, all right, cool, the vibe is good. It's great, it's yeah. It's great, it's very modern, everything which, is modern. Which we're gonna show you guys in a minute. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, this is perfect. And then we open the, and then we open the door to this room, and I'm like, I didn't, like, what the hell? So here's what we do. That's my stuff right there, because I had a lot of work stuff, so we come in like this, right? Boom, and this is it, guys. This is it. Mm -hmm. That's the bathroom right there. The widest part of this place, of this room, is, is where the bed is at, right there. But the strange thing is, is you can't cross over the bed. The bed is like cemented to the wall. Yeah, so it's like of it, the window. And you, yeah, it's so it's I a lot. It's a lot going on. Look, can I show them how you get in bed? You know, you go show them how you get in bed. You show them how you get in bed. And that's it. So there's no other side. So I can't, I can't get over here without crawling over Travis, and he can't get out of bed without crawling over me. And uh, I tried to make up this bed today, guys. It's kind of hard to do when you don't have another side to stand on. <laughs> so this is what the bed looks like made. And yeah, it could probably look better, but whatever. So anyway, so we do have a little view outside though, a little water, cars passing by, whatever. It looks nicer well, than it and, does and on camera. Well, and the whole area There's is dope. There's a TV. It's a dope area. It's and a then you control everything. Everything is supposed to be so modern. So you control everything here Back on the tablet. Start. You can control the lights, the blinds. Getting things ready. Hold up. It's about to, about to be almost done. Okay, yeah. You can turn the TV and on. Control the channels. So yeah, it's for the lights, the blinds. So it's basically a modern hotel, guys. It's so a modern it's like hotel. some media, cleaning, all this kind of stuff, right? Yeah. So, um, so if you want to change the lights we just go boom, turn yeah, the lights and it, up and it changes the vibe of the room yeah it makes you them light dark if you want to do like some blue lights with the yeah blue lights, it changes whatever. it it's really cool think, uh, yeah, and then show, you, you guys, i'll show you the shower we've already showered like in it so i don't know how clean it's going to be what lighting yeah, yeah change it again so you can like set the mood in here complete like it's kind of cool anyway so here's the shower it looks very like futuristic um I'll, i'm gonna shut it the toilet this is how you flush the toilet you see these little things you hit them that flushes the toilet you look pretty actually yes. so oh, look at this they have a tv in here yeah so i'm trying to be more romantic and i call you sexy so i'm gonna say you look beautiful you're not gonna call me sexy anymore i'm gonna call you sexy but <laughs> well you look handsome this is the vibe of the hotel whoa some kids crying Hey guys, 
guys so we just left um it's a place called sunday's eatery um which is trick daddy i don't know if you guys know who trick daddy is but um as we mentioned earlier he owns this restaurant he you know he's got music out what was on the song that you figured out what it was called baby because i'm a thug oh yeah and he's got uh <laughs> let's go with little john mm -hmm. oh yeah okay i don't know that song if oh yes want, i do yes i do some, know that song get some because where i'm from we talk big guns everybody knows somebody that knows somebody that knows something about it so anyway, so we just left there, and the craziest thing ever is they have this lemonade, which is like a blue lemonade. Uh, Travis threw his away because he said it's basically sugar. It's lemonade. sugar water. Well, you say yeah. it's sugar water? Sugar water with like flavor. Oh my goodness. It's okay, but I'm gonna go for it. He went and got real water. So you. But it is, it is basically sugar in a cup. And I did ask her, I said, what's in that? And she goes, I can't tell you. And I'm like, it's probably something really bad. It's not, it ain't nothing bad. She, it's basically, she said, we put a whole bunch of sugar, we put a little bit of food coloring in there, and we put a flavor of whatever. It's, it's right. Kool-Aid. It's literally It's Kool basically Kool-Aid. Anyway, and then I also got this, guys, which I haven't eaten yet because the food, by the way, I, I know you guys probably want me to rate the food. I rate the food a 5 out of 10. Okay, but what'd, um, you, what'd you get, though? Because I, I think in the video they just saw... Oh, so, so we had to show a quick clip on our phone, so it looks different or bad, but... Oh, yeah. Tell them what you got, babe. Um, so I got... I got the baked chicken. Mm-hmm. So I want to save it, but... With what? So, uh, with, uh like yellow rice mm -hmm. and uh, mac and cheese <clears throat> excuse me but i mean basically it was good uh, mine was good but it's basically like jerk chicken is what it was mine was bad i got smothered pork chops uh smothered pork chops with yams and um yellow rice and it comes with a um muffin no it's a cornbread or cornbread muffin yes yeah, no it's not muffin Cornbread's it's a cornbread. Muffin. It's a cornbread muffin. It's cornbread. Who's cornbread? Corn. <laughs> Shut up. It's a cornbread muffin. It's cornbread. Guys, it's cornbread muffin. Comment below, below which one yeah, is I, it? I guess anything in a, mu in a little muffin thing can be a muffin. It's a cornbread muffin. It's cornbread. Anyway, um, is bread really a muffin? I guess so. Right? It depends on how you make it. It's like, like let's, let's, let's like saying French fries are not are not potatoes because they're not mashed. Come on. Get, get yeah, your but head French together. fries are not mashed potatoes. Yes, but that's my point. But it's still a form of potatoes. Just like uh, if you have a cornbread muffin or if you have yeah, a right, uh, right, uh, right, honey, listen, ba banana look, nut look, muffin. They're look. all muffins. That makes sense. What if you have a muffin top? <laughs> then you'd be me. Just kidding. Actually, I don't have a muffin top. You do not have a muffin top. Okay, so anyway, but shout out to people who do. Dude, let's not discriminate. Okay, so they actually have this um, banana pudding. This They call it a... Uh, Blue velvet or something. I don't know. I can't get the name right. Blue, blue something. Anyway, it's basically it, it, it's, it's so funny. She velvet said. cake with uh, a mixture. It's basically velvet cake with a mixture of uh, banana pudding. See, this is my thing. I know a lot of you guys say, oh, you guys eat out a lot. And, you know, you go to like, you know, Taco Bell. You go to uh, Chick-fil-A. You go to all these places. And I'm going to tell you this. So this is why sometimes I do support the locals, but sometimes I don't. Because you never know what you're going to get. Like, we went there and supported his restaurant. Um... You know, shout out to him, you know, black owned and you'd always want to support. But the food was not good to me. It was not good and it, we paid $50 for both of us to eat. It was $50 and we only got two meals, a drink and one dessert, $50. Two drinks. Okay, that's a lot. She told me their specialty is baked turkey wings, <coughs> but I didn't want to get the baked well, yeah, turkey you, wings. Yeah, you should have listened to I baked. probably, I, I should have got the baked turkey wings and I didn't listen and I end up getting smothered pork chops, which, but how can you ruin some of the ch pork chops? That's the thing, like, it's so easy to make. We're gonna ride that big old thing right there. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're heading on to the Skyview Miami, is what it's called. It smells like an enclosed freaking, like, locker room or something like that. Yeah, that's what it smells like, a locker room. Yeah, I was trying to think of the words, you're right. It smells like a... Okay, well, here we go. So, cheers to making it back down. We're gonna make it back down. Cheers. But I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like on the other side. There's actually seats for more people, but I think it's because if you wanted to, if you were a family. You made a move. Just by walking. Oh, are we actually going we're now? Moving, yeah. We're like moving? <gasps> this is like a scary ride, except you're not going to fall. Oh, yeah. you can Look, you can see people going on boats and stuff down there. This is really cool. It's crazy because this area was not affected at all by the hurricane. That was too far south. So that's crazy because the hurricane went like right through the middle well, from the west to the east like right through the middle of yeah florida crazy it's crazy but it's it's perfectly normal here there's not rain there's nothing the sun's out um, the high rises so who, who lives up there who, who in miami 
uh, one of our subscribers. You have to live up there. I know you guys do. It's kind of cool how high up we are. Uh, I would say Whoa. we're at the top right about now. Okay, we just passed it. We're going back down. Wow, we are certainly at the top. We are putting our trust in this machine. Wait, how long do you think it's going to go before? Like, Probably like two or three times. You need to go down a little more than two or three times. We need, yeah, we, whoa, did you just hear that? What is going on here? Mango. It's a cocoa mango, yeah. It's got like mango chunks, it's got condensed milk, it's got uh, mango slushy. I don't know. You don't like that. You don't like that. Okay, I'm gonna try it. You ready? I'm scared. You're gonna I like always it. hate trying new Come things. Come on, but give I'm it try. Try. That's good. Holy moly, yeah, that's good, huh? Good. Yeah. Do you like yours? Look, 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 it's got some chunks on the top, it's some mango so, chunks. So, so I guess whenever you're done with it, you can eat the chunks. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's cool. That's a good drink. It's refreshing, you know? Cheers! <laughs> Alright guys, so we're getting ready to head over to the next place. I'm not really even sure where we're going. I'm hot and sweaty. Are you hot, babe? It's a little hot. It's a little hot. We got our drinks. I'm almost done with mine. It's super good. There's like, um, there's some... Uh, flakes in here, some coconut flakes. It's really good. Uh, Travis ate all of his. What are you looking for? No, actually, I, I drank it all and then whatever's left in there, I kind of toss it out. Mm. There's a bunch of coconut flakes. I was like, nah, I'm good. It's the best so, part. So, so it's weird. I love coconut. I just don't like the flakes of coconut. Oh. It's weird. I you like, oh, you it. like the coconut flavor. I love coconut, yes. But I hate, oh. I hate, I, I love the coconut flavor. I just hate the coconut flakes. Okay. And like coconut plain, I don't like, but when you mix it up, it's good. Hmm. All right. Well, that was fun. Um, we're actually heading out now. Our, of course, in our true travel fashion, we went off and left our um, thing that we put in the windshield for the camera. So I'm holding you it. You left. I left. That's your responsibility. Anyway. Hey, where's my charger? So I have to hold the camera, which I'm going to have some strong muscles by the end of this. Uh, like you, babe. You got some strong muscles. I try. You've been working it. You've been working your body out, haven't you? No, not really. I try, but yes, you have. The problem is I don't have enough. Show me your muscles. That's all I have. Ooh, really have that's all you have. That's all you need. That's all I have. <laughs> that's all I got. Is it awkward when people like like point out like, oh, show your muscles? It's it's kind of yeah. like when I used to be younger, and um. Well, I mean, if I was actually like in the gym all the time, yeah, but I'm not in the gym all the time, so it's like it remind yeah. it, it reminds me of like when I was younger and. You know, I could sing, I could play the drums and all these things. And so, like, my dad would be like, go, go, show him, Tori, what you can do. And it's like, it puts you on the spotlight. And you're all like, he's like, oh, my daughter can sing. And then and his friends are like, oh, yeah, really? Yeah, Tori, get, sing him something. And, and like, then it's oh, like, oh. no, it's just so, it's just kind of like, you know, you can do it, but it's just weird. Kind of how I'm like, hey, show him your muscles. And it's all like weird. Cause you can't like, sing, though. No, I know, but but it's just so awkward when people are like, oh, go ahead, show them your muscles. And you're like, because it... <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, because like typically you'd be like, showing your muscles, you like, I'd be in the gym all the time, but I'm not in the gym all You go time. every morning. I go every morning for like 45 minutes before work. That's it. That's not enough time? No, you really need like at least an hour and a half in the gym. I need to be going to the gym. I only take so, small so, walks. So, so literally, so I go like probably four days a week, five days a week, maybe if I'm lucky. Uh -huh. For 45 minutes, that's like maybe three hours a day out of... I, I, how many how many hours are in a week? I got like five hours a day, or five, five hours like a week. That's well, it's your body's paying off. Not enough. So you're doing good. Uh, poor me. I I well, I said I was gonna hit the gym at the start of this year, and of course it's now uh, October, basically the end of the year. So I, I do take walks. I, I try to walk at least 35 to 45 minutes per day. Uh, sometimes I do that. Sometimes I don't. Just depends on like what I got going on with the kids, and um, but I do need it. I think I think starting next year, I think I may join a gym just because I feel like if you have somewhere to actually go to work out besides your home, I feel like you'll do it more. And so but, you know, I don't know. I got to find it. I got to find a gym that works because I kind of want to do the thing where like you go and work out with other women. I feel like I, that'd be for me um, like classes. You know how they used to have the Zuma classes mm -hmm. and everybody, you know, used to go and they may still have the Zuma classes. I don't know because I don't go. But I did go to a couple classes a long time ago with other women who were doing the Zumba. I don't know if you guys remember that. Maybe they still do it. But that was really fun. And, and I, I, yeah, I, I literally I'm, I'm saw sure, myself sure, losing weight. I'm pretty sure Zumba is 
it's like still a thing. still a thing, but like, I think, I, maybe, but I know, that, like, when it first started, it was like big. Yeah, it, it was, was like huge. Zumba, 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 Zumba. And men were doing really it too. It wasn't just a women thing. I don't know about that. You weren't doing Zumba? <laughs> I gotta check, I gotta fact check myself here. I don't you know. It's, it's wait, do men do, do Zumba too? I don't remember. I mean, anyway. I'm sure some men do, but not. <laughs> I don't know. We don't discriminate. I don't know who does Zumba, who doesn't. But the point is, uh, I need to get back in a class like that because I really feel like when you can work out with other people, it's more encouraging and you're all like there for one purpose. And that's to, you know, make sure you're working out and you're staying fit and you're moving and you're basically that you're moving and you're, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I just really enjoyed it. And I hope they come up with something if, the, if they don't have that that's similar to it because I want to be a part of it for sure. So whenever it gets dark, we kind of like ran out of time here to film, but we did, um, we had a good, pretty fun day today. What do you think? We had a great day. We had a great day. We yeah. had a really good day in Miami. Um, tomorrow morning, I think we're going to go to visit, uh, some of the stuff that happened in, um, I think it's Siesta Key and some other places. I can't, let me roll this one up because ba it doesn't really basically matter. Basically the area that was hit by Hurricane Milton. Yeah. If there's any help that we can do, we're going to try and do that. Yeah. We're actually going to donate too. That's what we're going to do and figure out how much we want to donate for the victims um, and also for the people just that need help there. Um, it's, it's just a scary um, it's a scary thing and we actually got a chance to see a little bit of footage of it on, on our phones but since we're here we're going to drive over. It's about four hours away from where we are yeah. and visit it. Um, so we, we were in Walmart last night and we actually were looking for water but we couldn't find any water so we're going to try and hopefully maybe try and find some water and bring some water with us. I'm sure they have a ton of supplies yeah. but I think that's the least we can do yeah. is maybe try and bring some water over there. But yeah, the water was completely out in the Walmart where we were, yeah, where we crazy. were in here in Miami. We couldn't get not one, we could get a bottle of water, but like the car, the um, cases of water were gone. But um, anyway. Well, because uh, well, I think everybody was like anticipating like something bad happening here. Oh, here in Miami? Yeah, Miami. So I think yeah. people are like trying to prepare. So um, if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment down below some of the things that, because uh, I think we'll still be in Miami when I post this video. Maybe comment down some below some other things we can do here. Um, checking out that restaurant was really cool. Didn't like the food, but hey, still checked it out. Um, but we did it. anyway, anything else, babe? That's it, guys. All right. Always remember wherever you go, there you are. So what? So make the best out of it, guys. So make the best out of it. We love you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.